ISIS leader Baghdadi blew himself up during U.S. raid. Confirms Trump U.S. President Donald Trump has confirmed that ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi was killed in a U.S. military operation in Syria last night, adding that the operation lasted around two hours. Trump said that Baghdadi took three of his children into a tunnel with him and detonated an explosive vest killing him and the three children. Secretive U.S. unpiloted spacecraft lands after 780-day mission the U.S. Air Forces and piloted X-37B spaceplane landed back on Earth on Sunday after a record 780 days in orbit, registering the fifth ultra-long mission for the military's mini-shuttle fleet. Originally built to spend up to 240 days in space, the top-secret aircraft has so far conducted five missions, each lasting longer than the previous one. There must be zero tolerance for terror. PM to EU MPs visiting JNK Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday told the delegation of European Union MPs that there should be zero tolerance for terrorists. Monsieur the 28 members of the EU Parliament will visit Jammu and Kashmir on Tuesday. The PMO said that PM Modi hoped that the visit would give them a clear view of the development and governance priorities of the region. 28 members of European Parliament to visit Kashmir tomorrow A 28-member European Parliamentary delegation will visit Jammu and Kashmir tomorrow. Ahead of their visit to Jammu and Kashmir, the delegation met PM Narendra Modi and NSA Ajit Doval and discussed the situation prevailing in Kashmir following abrogation of Article 370. Their visits should give them a better understanding of cultural and religious diversity of the region, PM Modi said. The Baghdadi's killing should have been crueler. Is killed Bengalman's wife Dipali Takada. A woman from West Bengal's Nadia district whose husband Sama Takada was killed by ISIS in 2014, has said killing of ISIS leader Baghdadi was required long ago. Baghdadi's killing should have been crueler as he had killed a lot of people, she added. Sama was among 39 workers who were kidnapped and killed by ISIS in Iraq.